Dear Mrs. Moretti, dear Mr. Tinelli, dear Mr. Ottali, dear audience, good morning. I'm sorry that I can't be with you in this very interesting conference, but I'm sending you best regards from Estonia. I'm proud to say that over the last 15 years, Estonia has built one of the most advanced digital societies and governments in the world, as only recently World Bank's Global Development Report confirmed. We also belong as founders to Digital 5, the group of most advanced digital government in the world. I can give you some examples of the public digital services that make people's lives very easy and convenient, also fast and efficient in Estonia. It takes on average a few hours maximum a day to set up a legal functioning company over internet in national company portal. Our record has been 18 minutes to have a company up and running. All the further reporting, customs and tax declarations and so on can be fully digitally handled as well. Thus, instead of spending time on getting red tape done, entrepreneurs in Estonia can rather focus on what matters the most, starting and growing their businesses. 96% of people submit personal tax declarations online. It means doing taxes in five minutes, and if you're slow, but average is now three minutes. No accountants, no costs. We are the first and still the only country to offer internet elections. Just last spring, we had parliamentary elections. Every third of the votes were cast online by our citizens from 116 countries around the world. It means that they have a way to engage and participate in our democracy, even if they are happen to be out of the country in person. Every, even if you are in the country, voting is more easy and accessible this way. You can vote from comfort, from your home, and from your armchair instead of making the effort to visit polling stations. There is a nationwide electronic health record together with digital uh, prescriptions. Doctors can access medical histories or consult each other right from their desk digitally. People can get their medicine without a visit doctors as, pre as prescriptions can be issued digitally and you just go to the pharmacy to pick the med medicine up. Thus, no paper and no need for extra visit and time spent for waiting at doctor's office if there is no need for the new analysis. Many ask me, how is that possible? Of course, first you need the political will and leadership to do things differently and take risks with trying out new solutions. Technology is only an instrument. It's the transformation of government with technology that matters. Another topic is how to get the proper technical and legal infrastructure in place early on. Another topic is how to take very seriously the risks that digital life poses. E-Estonia is built on trust. People have to be sure that once they submit one, some data or want to use a service online, the system are always up and running when, when it needed. That data does not get lost or stolen or tampered. Given our advanced level of digitalization in government and society, cybersecurity and privacy protection have become critical for everyday functioning of our society. That is why we have built up world-class competence in these areas, proof tested also in the world's first cyber attack against a nation state in 2007, which we successful, successfully defended against. Estonia is the host of NATO Cooperative Cyber Defense Center and European Union's agency for large-scale IT systems in internal security area. We know how to make digital life secure, in close partnership with private sector and international allies. Indeed, we have clearly seen the benefits of doing things digitally in Estonia. 
For example, we estimate that we have saved in the whole of the economy at least 2% of GDP each year as efficiency gain by signing anything and everything digitally. In fact, a bit more than 2% of GDP is how much we are spending annually on national defense in Estonia. So we basically pay for our defense by signing digitally. In December 2014, our government launched a startup of our own, e-residency. We are now the first country to issue a secure digital identity to everybody in the world to enjoy our public and private digital services. You, ladies and gentlemen, can become e-Estonian e-resident as well. This is the Estonian story in brief, but it could be as well become a world story. Let's make it happen. Then we have a chance to prosperity and competitiveness, which we greatly desire in all of the Europe. I wish you a fruitful discussions. Thank you.